prepare for Nerdgasm. Hello, Nerdgasm fans. Jerry here, a.k.a. Barnacles. Got a little video for you guys. It's been a couple of days. I apologize for that, but it's hard to make videos when the man cave is completely destroyed and torn apart. Well, I finally got it all put back together, and I've got a much better layout so I can control the lighting, and I can control the position of the camera. So now I'm hoping that I can get a lot better quality videos moving forward, because a lot of you kind of complained about, you know, lighting and audio and things like that. So hopefully this is the first video in the step of many better videos. I actually consolidated all of my computers into one corner of the room, so now I have an L-shaped desk, and I have my server, my workstation, and I have my main computer all interconnected right here, and everything's at my fingertips, and I like that a lot better than having things on opposite sides of the room. Plus, it opened up the floor plan a lot. Now I have a bunch of stuff consolidated to the rack in the corner of my room, like both my printers are connected, and I have all my game controller stuff for my consoles right there, and my flight gear for uh, playing flight simulators and so forth, and my Roomba for cleaning up after me. And uh, you'll notice here, every man cave needs a fridge. You guys have seen this in my other videos. I just moved it to a new location, and I made sure that it's fully stocked with booze because I figured, why do I have all this booze sitting out and it's not even cold? Who likes warm booze? I certainly don't. So I got some ice-old cups in there too. It's really nice. This is my workstation that I set up. I decided to go with two portrait 24-inch IPS panels, and I actually quite like it. It's, it's, it's pretty cool, and I can use that station for doing a lot of editing and mixing and coding and things like that when I don't feel like looking at the ginormous displays at the side of the room. This is my main computer. You guys can watch my other videos to get the specifications on it, but in a nutshell, it's an i7 water-cooled rig with two 680 GTX For The Win Plus editions, 32 gigs of RAM, dual SSDs, and RAID 0, but right now only the CPU's liquid-cooled so you can hate on me for that. You got my 3D Space Navigator, N52PE, DAS Keyboard S, and Battlefield Imperator Mouse. Here's a little flyby on my desk. You see, I just got numerous little doodads here. You guys can figure them out. But there's basically I got my Track IR5 right there so I can always use it, which I wasn't using before. And I got my Xbox in a better location. I got an HDMI switch. Everything's patched through my Elgato game capture. And I've got all my audio equipment here for recording and playback. And it's actually pretty awesome. As you can see, I found a use for the Minecraft sword and pickaxe after doing my review video. I went ahead and just put them up on the wall next to the next to the main displays. I quite like it. Now at my workstation, I have another DAS Keyboard S because I absolutely love that keyboard. And I've also got my drum kit and I got my old Sidewinder X8 mouse there. Um, this workstation is mainly used for like just surfing the web and some video editing stuff. I also have my KRK rockets connected to it, which are my studio monitors. So if I'm doing anything with audio and I need to see, you know, have the audio be perfectly clear, this is what I would use. Again, here's a view of my Logitech G960 setup. I believe that's correct. And now we got a little bit of a wide open view here. You can see with the simulator in place. The simulator's positioned absolutely perfectly, and I really love how I laid this all out. And a shout out to 425 Motorsports who sold me that Sparko wheel. You guys are awesome. Uh, if you look at this this view, the screens are perfectly at head level. So, so it's awesome to have a simulator and a workstation use the same screens. Uh, another thing is, it's got the little keyboard fold out there. You can see if you look at my Oboto Revolution videos, you'll get more information on the simulator, but it's by far the best simulator that I've ever used. And I've got the T500RS on it with the Fanatec Club Sport V2 pedals, and that is just a deadly combination. Here you can see I got two APC UPSs connected here that are basically responsible for the main man cave computer and the screens connected to it and the Xbox. Over here, we got another view of the workstation. You can see I created a custom wallpaper for it. The resolution on this thing is actually pretty cool. It's 2400 by 1920 with the two screens consolidated, which is a pretty awkward resolution for full screen stuff, but it works good for split screen. Right here, I have my HDMI switch. I decided to route everything through the HDMI switch, so now I can hit a single button to switch between my server on the center screen, my Xbox 360, or my main three screen machine. Here I have my Z5500 Logitechs. A lot of people don't like these, but I absolutely love these speakers. And I have them connected via optical, and I have them connected via analog. And the analog's all piped through this mixer board that you see right here. And the microphone that you hear me on right now is that microphone in frame and that tube amp, which is really cool. It's actually a vacuum tube-based amplifier. Should make my voice sound all sexy. You guys can let me know. Um, and then over here again, we've got the workstation. Um, I'm a little all over the place with the video today, guys. I'm sorry I'm a little out of practice, but uh, we'll get through this. 
Now here you can see I'm moving the simulator. A lot of people ask me how hard it is to move this thing. I put it on furniture sliders and it's actually incredibly easy to move as you can see right here. You know, I'm not struggling, my shirt's not all sweated through, so, so you know, we're good. This, this is easy right here. See, I just pull it out and slide it in place. Furniture sliders, you can find them at a hardware store. They're, they're dirt cheap. I highly recommend it for moving stuff around like this. Oh, and here we go. There's the furniture sliders right there. I got the big ones. They're like, you know, they're probably like five or six inches across and they work remarkably well. I can't recommend these things enough. Here I have my wireless Microsoft keyboard and my steering wheel. Again, that's a T500 RS by Logitech with a Sparco wheel mod and the T8 shifter. Here's another view of the APC UPSs with the screens on. You can see one of them isn't under a load. I'll have to check that out. Right here, I've got my Wacom tablet. Now, you guys probably haven't seen this a whole lot in my videos, and it's because I never use it because it's a pain in the ass to store and take out. So I went ahead and changed it, so now I can just slide it out like a drawer when I want to use it and just slide it back when I'm done with it. So now it's a lot more convenient. It's going to make using Photoshop a whole lot easier. All right, here's my Track IR5 with the Pro Tracker. Again, I made it really accessible because before I'd always have to hook it up and then take it, wrap it up, put it away in the drawer, take it out. It's a pain in the ass, so I never used it. Now it's connected always. There's my Elgato Game Capture HD. And here's that mesh back chair that nobody knows the brand of and I don't know where you can buy it. Sorry, guys. All right, now to get into some greater detail on stuff for you viewers that actually like this video and haven't checked out after the first couple of minutes. So this part's for you guys. Um, as you see the audio setup that I have right here, I have a Z5500 by Logitech. I love those speakers. They're pretty old. They don't make them anymore. And I got the Barodynamic MMX300 headset. Those things are absolutely phenomenal. The microphone's awesome. The headphones are awesome. I highly recommend it. Sitting right next to it, you have the Tube MP amplifier. That's actually what you hear me on right now that I'm running my Audio Techniques uh, microphone phone through and it actually makes your voice sound really warm and cleans it up and I actually I'm, I'm really digging it let me know if you guys like it this this audio voiceover stuff better than my my usual stuff and uh, also I have an optical switch that is sitting under the Z5500 right there I use that to basically route 5.1 from my Xbox 360 and my main computer into the speaker system I also have analog cables run too so that I can record to the Elgato in real time when I'm doing screen capture off the center screen and it's really helpful this right here is my Mackie mixer board. I actually picked this guy up so that I can route the microphone through it, the audio feed from my computer, and the audio feed from my Xbox 360. And I can mix all of them simultaneously into one audio feed that can then be recorded by the Elgato game capture. Um, this is going to be really cool when I do game commentaries in the future where I'm screen capping because I can mix my voice in with the video and not have any performance hit at all. Um, should be pretty cool. I also use the mixer to uh, mix so I can play Xbox and I can play music on the computer at the same time and it mixes it and puts it through the same speakers. And I can go ahead and tweak pretty much any aspect of it to change the volume and change the frequencies and give it more bass, less treble, things like that. These mixer boards are actually really cool. I'm surprised more people don't just throw them on their computer just to have that much more control over their audio experience. Uh, what you're hearing right now is audio that's channeled through that tube MP amplifier into the mixer board and then mixed in and sent to the computer. And here we have my AT2020 Audio Techniques mic with SpitGuard, and that's what you're hearing me on. Now this is something that I tried and it actually worked really well. Is I took an HDMI switch, just something cheap that I got from Mono Prices, and I went ahead and routed my center screen through it. The Xbox 360, I put an HDMI splitter on it so that it feeds both the Elgato game capture and center screen separately. That way I don't have any loss in video quality because I was having a little bit of a video quality issue routing through the Elgato to the screen. So now they're on separate feeds, but now I can push a button, switch to my Xbox on the center screen, and I can switch to my server computer all by just pushing one button. It's much easier than using the remote to navigate the inputs on the screen. Here you have the Elgato Game Capture HD. This is actually what I use for capturing video from the center screen. I can capture my Xbox, I can capture the computer just by switching the HDMI switch. It's actually really cool. And then the analog output goes out through the mixer board and gets synced and recorded to another computer. That USB cable you see right there actually goes to the workstation machine, which runs the software and actually records the video. That way there is no load at all on the main computer while I'm gaming. This is actually really cool. And then the other thing is I made it accessible right here. So all I have to do is unplug that that USB cable and I can run another USB cable to my laptop or any other computer and have it be the recording and monitoring source. So I just wanted to make sure everything was really versatile and this gives me that ability. 
And here's my Sparco steering wheel mod that I have on the T500 RS. It's actually really cool. And the label you have there in the middle of the steering wheel is from 425 Motorsports in Bellevue, Washington. They're actually pretty cool. They gave me a deal on the wheel so that I could update the simulator, and I really appreciate it. Well, guys, I'm really happy with how everything turned out. The man cave is going to be much easier to use now. It's going to be a lot easier to shoot video and edit video and get it out quicker. And that's that's what the whole goal of this was, to make the room more functional for my YouTube channel. Before, it was just, you know, kind of a little bit of a hobby thing, and I was just having fun. But I kind of want to get serious about this now. Enough of you guys like my videos. They don't want to keep producing them, and I want to keep getting better at creating them. So please keep giving me feedback. I absolutely love your guys' feedback. Come on over to the Facebook page. You can find the link right on my channel have a lot of fun communicating with you guys there that's where I do most of my communication and I always look forward to talking to you guys keep an eye out I will be posting videos on the regular now again sorry for that delay of a couple days until next time guys hope this gave you a nerdgasm please take a second to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video or any of my other videos I really do appreciate it thank you so much and have a nice